Just get to know Cindy. You would like her, I promise you, Mom. You would get to fall in love with her. Mom, you would come to love and appreciate the person that she is. Mom, do you know she's really so nice that even her enemies attest to her niceness? I'm telling you the truth. Mom, please. I just want us to live in peace. Stop raining curses on this beautiful woman that I have that I have married. Please. In your stupidity, you believe that beauty is the only thing a man needs in a wife. Nettel, I'm your mother. Listen to me. I am your mother. What exactly am I going to be listening to at this point? I already married this woman. I'm just asking that we live in peace. And I'm telling you that the women of Mugama, they are not only lazy, but they are naturally wayward. Your so-called wife will bring a curse to this family. I warned you. I warned you you wouldn't listen to me. You insisted and married her. Mom. Come on now. That's too much. I'm accommodating all that you have said because you're my mom. That's too much. Stop threatening the woman that God in his infinite mercy have put in my hands. Mom, I love my wife and she equally loves me. We love each other, Mom. Let's find a way to live in peace. Okay? Can we just, can we, you know what? Okay, how about we do it this way? Can, we, can you just pretend that we don't exist? Yeah. I mean, you have all of this to yourself. I built this house for you, just so that you are happy. Can you just leave my wife and I alone so that we can live happily? Is that possible, Mom? Can you do that? Huh? And what are you trying to do? No, tell me. What are you trying to do? You're trying to walk away on me? I called you here to make a case against a woman who represents backwardness, poverty, and adultery. And you want to walk out on me? No, Mom, you called me here to ridicule my wife and disrespect me, Mom. That's why you called me here, but I have work to do. Please let me go. Yes, hello. Mr. K, do you have good news for me? I will tell you something positive when one happens. Oh, listen, listen, listen! You call yourself Mr. K. I read you know all things. What is difficult in a man getting a woman? This one is not just a woman. She gives you the impression that she's with you. But then, one discovers she's very far. Oh, shut up! Listen. I paid you to do a job for me. I paid you completely. I don't want to hear stories. I'm not interested in your tales. Do this job and do it well. Don't call my number if you don't have any good news for me. I don't, just keep quiet. Don't call my number if you don't have any good news for me. Rubbish. Only a fool kills a woman. I will not kill this woman because I am not a fool. I don't understand. Are you ever going to tell me what's going on? I, I mean, your mother is my mother-in-law and I am your wife. Why would you ask me to be wary of her? I have told you the much that you need to know. Okay. Why can you not just work with this piece of information? Why, why are you asking for necessary information? You don't need it. Oh, come on, Nats. Don't play it like this. This is a serious issue. You have to tell me what's going on. All right, look, my mother does not like you. What? There you have it. She doesn't like you. She hates you. I have tried the best that I can to convince her to see that you're a good person. She, she won't listen. She would stop at nothing to have you and I separated. She doesn't like you. But listen, you have to believe me, all right? I know Madame Ferro. I know how devious she can be. Trust me. Do the best that you can to stay away from her. Just be careful. Please, I beg you. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please, babe. 
I love you with all my heart, but please, please, just be careful. I know she must have upset you to the limits where you can't take it anymore, but that's no reason to refer to her as Madame Vero. She's still your mother. Yeah, she's my mother, and I respect her. Does she respect you? Does she respect my wife? My wife is me, my wife is my life. Whoever does not respect her, I cannot tolerate. What she's doing is not right. But it's still your mother we're talking about. But has she carried herself like a mother? Does she treat you like a mother? No. I can't believe that we're staying out talking about this with her. Let's sleep. Okay? Okay, we'll sleep. I just know that I love you forever, okay? Baby, you know I love you too. I'll always protect you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Nee. It's my son at all. Well, that uncle Mot. Uh -huh. What about that witch? Is she in? Madame Nawish. Ma ma Madame, you don't confuse me. Me say Madame Nawish. Are you expecting me to answer that question? You are a fool. Is she inside? Mm, never to tell where she come back from gym. She did inside. I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the more, peace of mind. I don't tell her how this kind of biscuit, I need a like her. Tell they buy me this kind of biscuit. I'm going to turn a biscuit. Biscuit to my in the good time. I don't understand. Where is all this coming from, Mom? When did you start having a problem with me? Since you used your diabolic power as a woman of Umugama to bewitch my son. Let me make this clear to you. You will never find peace in this life. Why are you laying a curse on me? What did I do wrong? You get lost with your recourse to sentiment because you can never weaken a woman like me. I begged you not to marry my son. I pleaded with you. You insisted and married him. Now tell me, since you married my son, what good has come out of this marriage? I love your son. Our marriage is blessed. Oh, shut that thing you call mad. Shut it up! Whatever you feel you're doing with my son is not blessed. For I am the mother who should bless this union. I did not bless it, so it can never be blessed. Why? Why are you doing this to me? You think you can weaken me with those crocodile tears of yours? Let me tell you something. When it comes to crying, you are nowhere near me. You and your people, you are bad news. It's quite unfortunate that my son allowed himself to be caught in your web. But let me tell you something. Very soon, it will be over. I promise you. And you, and you think this is the right time to talk about this as women? Why do you hate me so much? Because I want you to live here in peace. Before something terrible happens to you, then you will start calling the devil. Leave the devil out of this. Because you are the devil here. Just get your loose body out of this place. It is life in your place. It is not life in our place. Mama, mama, mama. 
the cannon move, I pray for peace of mind. Oh, let her know that I am not what she thinks I am. Mama, mama, the cannon move, I pray for peace of mind. Should we stand here talking? Why not let me in? Then we can talk as we cruise. Talk as we cruise. Yeah. <laughs> It depends on what you mean. I like the way you say that. Come in. Baby girl, I saw your missed call. Hope all is well. All is not well. I needed to speak to someone. I know it must be that troublemaker you have as a mother-in-law. What did she do this time? She's piling undue pressure on my husband. She's trying to break my marriage up. It boils down to the same thing I've been saying. She is trouble and she has to be handled. I don't know what you're talking about, but I think the only thing that can actually change her mind is me giving her a grandchild, but I don't know why I've not been able to get pregnant. Do not disappoint me by telling me that you're suspecting her. Nothing is wrong with you, Cindy, and I will advise you to go and see another doctor. Seriously, you can never rely on one doctor. I know. I told my husband that too. Hopefully, we'll see a doctor this week. Good to not ever play into her hands. A child will definitely come and he or she will silence her forever. I hope so too. Now let me run along, okay? And do learn to answer your phone whenever it rings. Yes, ma. Oh, my love is wrong. My heart is yours. Yeah, you're so sweet. What do you mean? Um, a lot of things are better left unsaid. Thanks for the right in the way. You're such a kind man. Thank you very much for the kind words. It's fine. So you've thanked me enough, all right? I you, you have. You have to go. I'm, I'm run, running off for an important meeting. Wow. Serious businessman. It's written all over you. But I would like to thank you in a very special way. Thanks, but um, no thanks. I'll pass. Okay, just, um, just go. Right, I'm running late. As a matter of fact, I have a business meeting um, to catch up. You can't say no to this. I mean, why, there's no other better way to say thank you other than to allow you to enjoy this. Uh, thank you very much. I'm not interested, lady. Can you just please? All right. You don't know what you mean. Can you just please leave? I'm just being kind and easy. You think I'm cheap, right? Very difficult for a start. But I'll soon get you where you belong. you say that? No, I'm just waiting for a program to start, a program that involves my friend. Well, that I'm good looking is not good enough. I need to have my own child so I can be called a woman. Oh, what? Uh, welcome, my husband. I 
are you? I'm good. Mm. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. Mm. How was your day? It was okay. What did you get up to? Nothing. Nothing out of ordinary. Come on now, you don't tell me you were just sitting there waiting for me to return from work. What did you do today? I, um, it's just that your mom came around. She was here. And then she messed your day up. Nat, I never said that. I just wanted to remind you about going to see a doctor. Baby, give me your hand. You know I love you. With all of my heart. I want you to learn not to allow the words of my mother bother you because I really don't care how anyone sees you. This is not about your mother. This is about us. I, I, I need to know why we can't reproduce. We need to know if there's anything wrong. Well, fine, baby. We will reproduce. A child will come at the right time. This is the right time. This is the right time. This is... I, I, I want to have my children now. I, I want to have them while I'm young. Please. It's been a long day and I'm tired. I'm very hungry, baby. Did you make food? Nathan, please don't shrug this off. I, I won't let you do this to me again. I'm not shrugging it off, baby. I'm just hungry. And now you call me Nathan because what my mom came here and messed your mood up. Mm -hmm. What? My love, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. It's just that I, I want us to see a new doctor. But there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with you too, baby. Please. Well, seeing a new doctor make you happy. Yes. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, the more the more peace of mind. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more, the more the more. Babe, babe, babe. Well, who's calling you at this time? I don't know. I'm not going to answer. Same thing you don't get from that. Hmm. You guys should keep starving yourself in the name of trying to stay slim for your man. Men, don't see Cheeto. We are not complaining, Belinda. Anyway, show me a woman 
who is working so hard to stay slim for her man. And I will show you a woman who will never be happy. Man, they will still break your heart. But Bele Belinda, must you always preach the same thing? Listen, women stick to a man because it's the right thing to do. Okay? A man that will cheat will still cheat. Exactly. My bad. I'm so sorry. I'm used to locking doors, but no worries. I'll get that for you, okay? okay. Hello, Kitty. You're welcome. Where's my wife? Oh, uh, come on. Stop acting like a baby. Your wife is inside and you have nothing to worry about, okay? I came to get the dog for you. Okay, um, step aside and let me go in. Sure. I'll let you go inside, but I have just one question for you. Do you know I've been crushing on you for so many years? Like, I've been on this for so long that I'm looking forward to the day that you and I will crush it out together. And that day is going to be the most memorable day of your life. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Now, can I just go in? Can, can you step aside? Can I go in? Sure. You could go inside. Um, what? I just know that um, this could be all yours. As if you decide to be nice to me. Darling, welcome home. <laughs> what took you so long? Uh, nothing. I was just on the phone outside. So where's Belinda? I don't know. I'm here, baby. I was actually checking out your car. Girl, your car is too old now. You need a oh, new car. Please, just stop, okay? I'm tired. I need to rest. Okay. It's okay. I'll see you soon. Of course, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, Cindy, your husband is so rich. How do you even cope with him? And how is that your business? Is she complaining to you? You know what, ladies? Just ignore her. This is exactly why she is still single. <laughs> so if you ladies would excuse me, I'd like to go attend to my husband. Okay. We already know what you're up to. Belinda. Hey, they come now. I'm missing you. Hey, you didn't hear us calling. Come on, give me the food now. Come on, give me the food now. What? I'm cooking. What are you cooking? I'm going to give you food. I'm making your meal here. No, that's not the food I'm talking about. The food. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, listen. I will just leave this food here now. I will not make you food, and then hunger will change this your ring tune. I don't care. This is not the food. You are the real. You are the real meal. Come on. I'm serious, so. I'm serious too. Hunger will finish you today. Oh, come now. Come yeah. on, give me. Come on, give me. Oh, leave me now. Well, I've been, be I've been begging since yesterday night. Like, ah, I've, been, I've been feeling some type is, of. Is it food? It's food. Ah! <laughs> okay, how That's do you want one. it? How do you want it? Talk to me, I change my mind. How okay. do you need it? Okay, just, like, just as I am now. Just, just, yeah. The way I'm like this. Just the way like this now. Babe. You are so sports. Leave me alone. How am I sports? Go away. Okay, go on. You can still be cutting this or you won't. No, leave me alone. Yeah. See, say like, my phone. Wait, wait, wait. Keep this time. <laughs> oh, Give wait, me wait, wait. My phone is ringing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> That's my mother. Don't pick me. No, you don't might be important. No, leave my mother. You know my mother is. I will tell her you said I should not answer. I'll tell her. Don't get. She's going to mess your mood up, babe. Don't be. Hello, mama. Hello, Cindy. Guess what? What? Chama has given birth again. The third child. Do you remember that you married before her? Such an irony. The baby boy is so cute. You're going to see them soon. Hello? Are you there? I said the baby boy is very cute. And this is the third child she's having for her husband. I said I should jubilate with them all since mine seem impossible. Babe, I told you. I had to take the call. Now you see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I'll be fine, okay? Our own child will come. Alright. Listen, I'm tired. I'm tired. I just I just want my child. I just I just want to hold my child in my arms. I just I'm want here. my baby. I just... Baby, I'm here for you. I'm here for you and I assure you. The child will come. All right, let's just keep being in love with each other. Let's just stay in love. We're going to go through this one. A child will come and just make everything complete. I need you to just get that thought out of your mind for now. Get it out of my mind. Please. How can I? How can I when your mom constantly nags and throws a tantrum and calls me a witch at every given opportunity? But you know I know that you're not a witch. I, I, I know so that you are my life. You are my blessing. Ignore her. Right? Get it out of your head, baby, please. Please. Nathan. Babe. Babe. Yes, babe. Please, let's go see another doctor. At least, let's, let's see you find out if there's anything wrong with us. If that would make you happy, yes, I'll do it for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, baby, thank you, thank you. Baby, thank you. Thank you. Mom, I have come to appeal to you in the name of God. Leave Cindy alone, okay? Leave that girl alone. Yes, leave her alone for me. Okay, since I married that girl, I have known nothing but joy and blessings. Please. Huh? You want me to fold my hands and watch her destroy you? Is that what you want? Just tell me, what are you talking about? You're talking about a girl that you don't even know. She, she, she's a nice person. She's decent. She can't hurt me. I'm not saying she will purposely hurt you. No, I'm not saying that. It's from their root. They can't help it. These people are bad news. Mom, you see that big contract, that big break that I got, okay, that made me the man that I am today? Cindy. Mom, you see this man that everyone loves? Oh, Nathan the good man, the one that you're proud of as a mother? It's because of my wife. Why have you refused to see the light in that girl? Light? What light? Why can't you open your eyes and see? I, am I don't see it, Mom. I choose to be blind to the things that you see because you don't know her. You don't even know me anymore. You're making up stories in your head, Mom. And it's not good for me. It's not good for my wife. Stop it, Mom. Cindy is the light of my life. Leave my wife alone for me. Please. If you had married Sandra, 
we wouldn't be having this issue today. You know that. Are we talking about Sandra again, Mom? I made it clear. I can't have a, a woman like that for a wife. I, I never loved her. I still don't. I don't care about her, Mom. Do you not understand? But you didn't even give her the chance. Just try it. Give her the chance. If it doesn't work, I wouldn't disturb you again. Mom, are you talking in present tense? Do you realize that I'm married? Mom, I am a married man. No, you are not. Oh, I'm very married. Oh, no, you are not married. Brother, what you have in your house is a time bomb. Take it to explode and blow into smithereens. Is that what you want? Is that? It's just impossible, ma'am. It's just impossible. It was pointless coming here in the first place. Let me go. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Demand the more, demand the more, the more peace of mind. I'm a man I can't anymore. I pray for peace of mind. Demand the more, demand the more, the more peace of mind. I am your, I am your. Come on now, stop. What did I do? You're literally undressing me with your eyes. Uh, so tell me, when has it become a crime for one to admire the wonderful creature of the Almighty? This is the place, right? Ah, yes, darling. Thank you for being a sweetheart. And it's high time you realize that I'm actually a married woman. <laughs> You know, you are just too nice that I keep wondering when this niceness will translate into something really good and beautiful. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> uh, uh, see who's back. Husband all by himself. I'm sorry now. I thought you'd spend time with the guys. <laughs> sorry. Where did you go? I went to Juliet's place. She wasn't feeling well. Ah, uh, what's the problem? I don't know. She did a test. The result isn't out yet. Okay. I hope she gets better. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. I missed you. Missed you too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was hungry. Oh. But I made something. <gasps> you did? What did you make? Your love fries. <gasps> You don't want to try this jollof fries. Just the way I like it. Jollof fries, fried chicken, oh. you know, with carrots, you know. Thank you. Some mm -hmm. The way you love mm -hmm. it. Tin mm -hmm. some tins. Mm -hmm. Fried, fried I'm I going to more taste. More, more Are more. you serious? Did you put pepper? What are you talking? Excess Did pepper. Did you put pepper? Excess pepper. Who don't like pepper to eat? Hey! Take me back. <laughs> Because you are a fantastic cook! You are hungry. <laughs> Come on now, Mom. Do you realize what you're suggesting? You will do it. I have tried to make you see reasons with me, but you wouldn't. Now, you will do it. I promise I won't disturb you again. Mom, listen. You're not going to make me cheat on my wife. Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to cheat on my wife. I won't do it. Why do you want to kill me before my time? Why? I didn't kill my mother. Why do you want to kill me? Mom, can you just stop with the theatrics? Stop. No one is dying. 
Okay? No one is dying here. Don't blackmail me. I want to do it. I'm not asking you to sleep with Sandra. Just get to know her, that's all. Alright? Yes, Mom. I'll just come around tomorrow and, and, and see the piece of land and I'll let you know um, if it's something we should do. Ah, uh, yes, Mom. I'm sure he cut off my call because of that low life. How else will I throw her out of his life? Land. What land? Oh. Well, you know my mom how how dramatic she can be. She was talking to me about that. I'm certain there's no piece of land anywhere. She just wants attention. Uh, what can I do to prove myself to her? Nothing. You should do nothing to prove nothing to anyone. Okay? You and I have proven ourselves to each other and that's all that matters, baby. I love you just the way you are. Mm? Don't worry about mama. She's going to come around. Mm? She doesn't have a choice. Now you're asking for trouble now. You know how I get when you touch me like that? Mm? You know how I get when you touch me like that? Uh, I just might scoop you up and mm? take you into the bedroom. You know, I don't see why you're here. Honestly. I think you should leave. Oh yes, I think you should leave. You know, before my wife returns and sees you here, you should go. Oh, please, Nathan. You know your wife is not coming back anytime soon. So get your wife out of this. You know, instead of all the stalkings, why don't you make use of the time and the opportunity we have. Okay. Fine. Um, you see, um, wait. I mean, look at you. She looks so cute. Once she makes use of your time, spend some time with me, everyone will be happy. Is this what you want to do with yourself? Huh? Is this all that you want to do with, with your existence? Seducing married men? Do you not think you're playing a fool by allowing my mom use you for this purpose? Well, I really know that. You see, I, I know you want me. And I want you to. Hmm? Just tell me how much you want me. No, just stop, right? Stop, 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 right? Nothing, whatever happened between you and I, just stop. Okay, just stop. What is your problem? What is it with you? Why are you so, why are you so stubborn and rigid? Do you know how many guys out there who would want to spend some time with me? Because I like you. I don't like you. I don't want you. I don't want to spend time with you. Why don't you go look for those who want you? Yeah. Look for them. Leave me alone. You have the traits and attributes of a playboy. Why aren't you playing? It can make you feel better, trust me. If your wife has got nothing on you by the time I'm true with you. So do you want to have some money? Stop touching me. Get your hands off me. I'm not a playboy, I'm a married man. Married to a woman who loves him wholeheartedly. Alright? Don't come here again to do this. If you try, I cannot guarantee you that I'll be the same. This is the nicest I'll be about this. Okay? Get up. Get up. I pray for peace of mind. Even the more, the males are no the more peace of mind. I'm a man I pray for peace of mind. Hey, babe. Who was that lady? Oh, someone from my mom. Um, 
came to take a message from her. Oh, okay. Yeah. She... What? Have you eaten? She's waiting for you to come make it happen, baby. Oh, my baby. Uh, Don't worry. I'll make it happen now, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs. You chill. Sit down. Sit. Oh, okay. No, don't come with me. <laughs> Sit. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. I love this road. My heart is yours. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. My morning star. The air I breathe. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Never. Never will I allow you to destroy yourself. Never. Over my dead body, will I allow you to continue to wallow in bad luck and non-productivity? Mom, I'm productive. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I'm comfortable. I'm not complaining. You don't know what you're talking about. I can see you under a spell. Mom, I'm not under a spell. If you're talking about my wife, I'll have you know that my wife is the best thing that has happened to me since we got married. That's a fact, Mom, that you have refused to accept. But I'll keep drumming it into your head until you accept. Okay? Please, just leave us alone. Eh? I'm, I'm a man I can't move. I pray for peace of mind. Amen to more, amen to no more. Peace of mind. Are you sitting down? Ha. Mom. Ha. You are my son. My only son. I'm your mother. <sighs> you know I want the best for you. I'm not saying you should marry Sandra outrightly. I'm only just asking you give her a chance. Stop acting cold towards her by sending her away. Really, Mom? Mom, I am a married man, happily married. Another fact that you have refused to accept, but I will keep drumming it into your head until you accept it. The more you keep saying that, the more it dawns on me that you're not intelligent. I'm not intelligent, Mom. Really? I'm not intelligent yet. I'm the president of the Society of Nigerian Chartered Quantity Surveyors. I'm not intelligent and I'm successful enough to take care of you. Have you looked at yourself, Mom? You look good. All me, my success, it speaks of intelligence, Mom. I'm a man who knows what he wants. And I want Cindy. Stop coming here to make us unhappy, Mom. I love my wife and she loves me too. We are happy. Please, I won't stop. I'll keep telling you, huh? Until you get it. Please, learn to give us some space and some peace, eh? Mom, try, 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 try. Even the more, even the more. Hey, baby. The best of your quantity of our time. How is it? Nice work. What are you doing here? I'm going to ask you again. Why are you here? Nathan, I just want you to eat and be happy. I'm not asking for anything in return. I took all my time to prepare this for you. This, this looks good. Thank you. Oh yes, it does. And that brings me to why I keep wondering why you would find a man for yourself. One who would love you, take care of you, make you happy. Why you have decided to subject yourself to my mother's machinations and waste your time. I am not wasting my time, Nathan. 
I love you. Don't you understand? I don't want any other man. I don't you. So now get this very dirty idea out of your head. Nothing will ever happen between you and I. You're sitting on my work table. I'd like for you to get up now. This right here is not the best place for this. Leave. Wow, wonderful. So why don't you tell me where you want us to go? Where would you want to have your food? Anywhere of your choice. It will never happen. Nathan, <sighs> please, I, I, I want you. Get up. Don't make me get you up, you know me. Don't tell me you don't get what you're saying. Oh. You see, Nathan, I came from a background. Never give up a background. You were sweet. And sweet things are for me. So. Okay, so right here. Um, you have to be professional. And on the facility. You know, you can um, jump in, take a swim if you want. Okay? Have you seen this? Yeah. Nice place. You don't agree? Is this one here? Huh? You actually think it's funny? It's not. Tell me, is this why we're here? Because of the swimming pool? Or because of the lousy environment? You call it lousy? Stop. This is really nice. Uh, you see, I was working in the office and then you came bothering me with your troubles, all right? Distracting me. Now I am here to make you happy and you're all grouchy. Why? I am not in the mood for any outdoor outing. Come off it, Nathan. Do you mind rising above this show? Rigid lifestyle and athletes appreciate a lady just for once. You know, it would be nice. Or don't you think so? You know, I'm really trying very hard to be nice to you. Yeah, because of the background that you come from. I respect that a lot, all right? But you see, I will not allow you to make me lose it. I really want to be nice to you today. Yeah, if you want something, you want to drink, you want to nibble on something, tell me, the bill is on me, I'll take care of it, okay? So, here it is. So, what's it going to be? Nathan. What? Can we go to somewhere else? I mean, somewhere that we can have our private time. This is... This is some exterior place that I do not want to be. No, I, I like want to be here. inside with you, not here. I like it here. I already placed the other while we're walking in. So when they bring my order, you tell them what you want. I'll pay for it. I was at your office earlier today during break, but you were not there. Well, I was in a meeting. Why did you call me? I didn't want to disturb. Babe, you confessed. Everything in my life comes after you. You confessed. You should have called me. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. What did I miss? What's up? Nothing. I just wanted to get the test results. Ah! I missed that one. That's true. The test results. So, um, what's up? What happened? They didn't want to give me the results. So they said I had to come with you. Okay, but they gave it to you anyway, so... The doctor said it was against their policies, honestly, that, um... <coughs> now what? That honestly, they, they couldn't give it to me. It was only based on personal recognition that they gave it to me. I'm telling you. Sweetheart, mm? what did the results say? You got it, but what did it finally say? Look at you. Why are you now so eager? I thought you didn't want to go before. You didn't want to, you didn't want to get the test result before. Oh, well, yeah, it's uh, kind of easy, you know. To not be eager if you haven't gone for this test, but as soon as you walk in there for the test, you want to know what it says. So, well, let me know. What's up? I said the same thing the other doctor said. Ah. I said that we're okay, yeah. nothing is wrong with us, okay. and that babies will come on babies. Will you worry too much, and that you should relax, and things will take shape. I, I didn't say anything, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying that whole the bathroom. Gosh, I'm not this way, this way, this way. Oh, yeah, stop bullying me, baby. Come on, shower. Mm -hmm. You mean he ignored you after what I told him? 
I wish he just ignored me. He treated me like I'm, I'm, I'm some debt, like I wasn't even a 16. Don't worry. He will come around. I know him very well. He likes initial Shakara, but he would definitely submit. Are you sure? Because I, I just feel like he doesn't like anything about me. Like I'm wasting my time with him. Trust me, he loves and respects you. If not, he would have slept with you and abandoned you. He knows he won't forget you if he goes down with you. Trust me, if you listen, it's a plus for you. I, I think I like the interpretation we just get this. In that case, I will get him to be where I want him to be. Exactly. If possible, drink some fertility pills so you can take in immediately. If that happens, he has no choice but to marry you. Mama, <laughs> Madam Vero is so silent. <laughs> You know, sometimes when you talk, I, I, I see the reason why you are where you are. You are so smart. <laughs> Thank you. Let me know once you're relating. That's all. Thank you so much. I will. Just <laughs> Stop. One. Why, why do you keep biting me? I, I, are you an animal? Just one. I don't want. I'll bite you back. 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 Just you just finished doing one, not like an hour ago. You want to do another one again? Exactly, an hour ago. Stop. Yeah, the momentum is back. There's a problem. We the have problem. to go and check to make sure that we are not taking. Yeah. We are not taking. <laughs> yes, your phone is ringing. Go ahead and say it. So important. No answer. It no, no, I cannot. Hey, babe, I'm. I'm I'm up to something. Up to what? I'm up to something. Yeah, I'm up to something. Answer it, I'll take it for you. Take what? Let me go and answer the call for you. I beg you now. Oh, yeah, answer your I'm call. about to do something. Do now. what? Shit happened. Give me one. Just... I'll not give you. Let me you just raise this up. Not, eh? Not today, tomorrow. Oh. That you were busy, but she she insisted, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Thank you, sir. Nathan, what is the meaning of this? I mean, I used to walk into your office and see you without any interruptions. What is going on, Sandra? Did you leave an instruction with your secretary not to let me to your office? Sandra, this is an office. This is a workplace. This is on a playground or a hair salon when you stroll into when you feel like it. Maybe if you had picked up my calls, I wouldn't be here. Why are you so dumb? What do you want? Why are you here? Can you not see that there is nothing here for you? We shall see about that. Get up and leave my office. There is nothing here for Wait, you. What is your problem? What is it? I am not asking you to make me your second wife or your, or your girl or something. I'm just asking you to show me some respect and acknowledge me as I have friend. shown you respect, Sandra. I have respected you, but you have refused to say it. So why we teach you that much? I mean, am I that bad looking? No. You're beautiful. Quite attractive. 
but unfortunately unintelligent. Leave me alone. Why do you hate me so much, Nita? Why do you like treating me like I'm, I have some virus or some sickness or something? This is not fair. What have I done wrong? Leave my office, Sandra, before I call security on you. Now. You can't possibly do that, Nathan. I am here to see you and I am ready. I am not ready, Sandra. Never will be ready for anything with you. Okay? Leave me alone. Get out of my office. Get out! Get out, Sandra. Don't worry, I will handle this. Mother, just stop telling me to, don't worry. I am already worried, can't you see it? He let her say the way he threw me out of his office. Like, 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 like I'm, 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 I'm just tired, I'm tired. I'm tired of all this. Just give me this last time. I will handle him. He's my son. You're not doing anything at all. I just want to go back to the States. Or better still, call my mom. Oh, come on. It hasn't got into that. Your mom must not know about this. Please. I will handle him. I promise. I have a plan. I am tired. Madame Vero, I am tired. I came back from the States because of him. Now he is treating me like this. This is not fair. For the last time, I have a plan. Madame Vero, you better have a plan. Because I do not understand why I'll be forcing myself on a man who doesn't even want me. Treating me like I'm some pervert. I'm not going to take it anymore, please. Oh, this is all this. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, my dear. Don't worry. I'll handle it, okay? Don't worry. Where is she? Where is she? Where is that bad luck woman that has refused to give me a grandchild? Where is she? Where are you? Nothing good. There's nothing good about you. Where is she? Good afternoon, Mama. Oh, here you are. Doing what you know how to do best. Wasting my son's money. Are you not tired of bringing stagnation into this family? Leave my son alone so he can progress. Welcome, Mama. Welcome, kill you there. Welcome, kill you there. You think I'm your husband you can deceive with your pretentious lifestyle? Listen, let me tell you. You will not succeed. Leave my son alone so he can forge ahead. Mama, in case you have forgotten, and, and this is my home, I am not going to leave my husband. You will be sent out of this house by your husband. I promise you that. What is my offense? You married my son against my wish. There is nothing as grave as that. I'm a man I can I pray for peace of mind. Amen the more. Son, this girl is from a decent background. They are rich. She's intelligent and very beautiful. What is wrong with you? She is materialistic, she is uncultured, she has no respect, she is rude, she has a gutter behavior, Mom. I cannot deal with a woman like that. Come on, son. All this comes with the package. She is born into wealth. I don't get it. Do you know if you marry this girl, our generation will never lack? Is it that you are addicted to bad luck or you just don't like good things? I don't get it. Are you lacking? Mom, look at yourself. Are you lacking? Are you not well taken care of? By who? By me. Mom, for a young man who was born into nothing, I can tell you confidently that I'm doing very well. See where we're coming from and see where we are. I do not need a woman like that in my life, Mom. I am married and happy. Why do you want to kill me before my time? Why? Do you want to kill me? Or would you rather kill me before my time, Mom? Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Welcome, Mom. Hi. Cindy, how are you? Fine. I hope you stop crying. Eh? Yes, I am. Please, you have to be strong for those children she left behind. You are the only one that can take care of them. Mom, she's not the only one. There are other aunties that would be able to take care of those kids as well. Mm? Why is she rushing back? She should stay and take care of these children. They need her. Well, we need her here too. She has a home to run and she has work, Mom. Which home? Those aunties you're talking about, they all have children. But she doesn't have any. Mom, stop. Oh, stop. What is it? Is there anything wrong to say something? Oh, Guinea. 
Stop, mom. Okay, Stop. Okay, Stop. What is it? Is there anything wrong to say something? Okay, Come on, drive. You should stay back and take care of the children. 